So right now we've got about two months worth of work in. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. So a couple of things I'm, I'm trying to bring over to you guys. On the foot sweep, remember it's just a it's just a slight movement at the right time. And use your little toe, use the pad of your feet, don't use your ankles, and just flip and help him down. And if you use both hands to curl, which is the hard part, when I catch this, this happens. <laughs> All right, he stabilizes and he does weird stuff and you go flying through the air sometimes, especially when they're shorter than you. So just boop, now he stabilizes. Step, now I come in. When I come in, if I come in heel first and I go to reach, I'm falling backwards. So make sure you come in with the toes, grip and literally learn to pull yourself with your toes. Now when I hook, I don't just slide the foot. I will do that in practice. But if I'm going to execute, I'm going to pull his foot up and I'm going to extend his foot behind me here. And it's that extension that drops that center. Now he's already seen me do this to my first opponent, so he doesn't want to do this again. So now this time when I catch my foot sweep, he's going to pull his foot back. <gasps> oh my God, what do I do? So look where my foot is. I'm just going to place it. Nancy, that's the first step. Then I'm going to use my hand to pull my left foot over here. And now what am I going to do? A Soto. Boom. And I want you to think about using that same sweep on the Osoto. So again, boom, he pulls his foot back. Step, step. This is usually where people reach. They leave this back foot here and they'll reach for Osoto here. Because this guy's holding me out. Oh my God, I can't get over there. We'll deal with that in a second. But no. Here, step, step, hook, bring the heel up and rotate him down. Big guys can move out away from his foot. If you're smaller, I want to step here. I want to come in here and lock hips. And li I literally throw with my hip on this. But my foot, just go up here. Now be strong and block. Now I'm just going to lift, do a leg curl, and he'll just rock straight down again using that same lifting motion. Also, for you uh, perfectionists, whenever you attack, what is my driver doing? What is my driver? My left leg. So as I hook, I'm not being static with this foot. As I start to drive, I'm lifting and moving my entire body and center into the throw. That will increase the, your thrower, your firepower exponentially. This is a three banger. Okay? So only do that to people you don't know or on the crash pads. But you can practice it very slowly controlling the guy. But once you get to here and you execute, as he drops, he will pull you. So there's a tendency to go flying over the guy. So if I'm here and I catch, he steps. Whoo! See how I came up? and drove off of that leg, wham! That's what really nails this thing. It also nails the Kosoto, it nails the Deashi, it'll nail all the throws. So you've got to learn to start driving from here. So you're going to go home and start doing this, do some calf raises, bump, 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 and Greg's going to go home and do this on a dance floor. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, oh, I better get off of that one. All right. Oh, Soto, let's go.